So now we've got a, we've got the, the demo going, we kind of have AR interface working, you know, getting our builds. One thing that AR interface does for us is it gives us the AR interface remote, which means if we hit this little play button up the top here, we can actually see it playing on our phone and really easily um, iterate over our over our projects, make sure it's all it's all working nicely. But you know we don't have to wait for a build every time. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and um, uh, start start going uh, installing it on the device. If you've ever worked with AR AR Kits remote, it's very very much the same process, right? So we've got to install the app on the device. And then we can open up a scene um, with a, our AR root object is going to have a component called the AR remote. I think it's called AR interface remote component something. And, th and that's, what, that's what gives us that, that, um, that uh, I, I don't know what you call it, like testing functionality, I suppose. Anyway, so let's go ahead and go into Unity AR interface folder. And this AR remote folder will have a, a scene called remote device. Now this is the scene we need to put onto our onto our onto our device, and it's just I mean there's not it's it's pretty it's pretty straightforward. There's just maybe one little gotcha. Let's make sure I want to make this really clear. We got to hit development build in our build settings. Now what that does is that allows the the device to talk to our Unity editor, and so yeah we're going to need to make sure that development build is selected, and then also in the player settings I'm going to go ahead and rename rename it to AR interface remote so so we know we know what it's that's going to be the name of the name of the app and also in this package name I'm going to rename that as well so that I don't override the demo that I just I just uh, just built on the device so rename that to remote as well and 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 that's about everything we need to do we go ahead and build and build and run that just save it AR interface remote all right, so now that we've got that build on the phone, um, you should go ahead and have something like this looking on your phone. It's like a purple screen. In the middle of it, it says waiting for editor connection. And uh, the last thing we've got to do is just open up one of, one of AR Interface's demo scenes that's going to have that AR remote uh, component that's going to be able to communicate with our device from, from the editor. So we can find that in Unity AR Interface folder. Just go ahead into the examples folder and in simple AR scene, we've got this simple AR remote scene. And the last thing we've got to do before I press play is in uh, the console, we've got this here, this drop down menu. This is uh, the device that we're able to connect to, um, be able to create that, create that uh, connection between the device and the editor. So I'm going to go ahead and select Android player inside there. And now I'm going to press play. Give it a, a second to load. I'm also going to change the I'm going to change the view just so that we can read what's on the screen. So I'll change change the view to free aspect. Now we can see nice big writing. Uh, start remote AR session connected to remote AR device one three three seven. All right, I'll go ahead and change that change that view back to how it looks on the phone. Um, start the session, and there we go. We got ourselves a uh, um, AR remote AR remote Unity editor. With a with a Android phone.